Hey, welcome back to Gold Scratch. So we're working away on now. Raiders 454. Got all the pistons, rods in. All the clearances have been done. Uh, we're waiting on a time cover right now, actually. And we can actually have the bubble bottom end together. But I ran across something that you might find interesting if you're concerned about uh, one of the most important things one of the most important bolts or fasteners, probably the most important in an engine, are connecting rod bolts. And for that reason, it's one of the few bolts that can be tightened with called the uh, stretch method rather than torque, foot-pounds of torque method. So when you buy uh, uh, fasteners and they give you a torque spec, ARP gives you a torque spec. Uh, in this case, for these, these are 7 16 connecting rod bolts. Uh, 8740, which is the base bolt. There's a higher grade, the 2000, and then I think 2200 or whatever. I get L97 or something. Anyway, these are the 8740 standard bolts. So they give you a torque spec, and they give you also, if you're going to do it by the stretch method, how much you want the bolt to stretch. So the point I'm going to make is, uh, when they give you a torque recommendation, and if you watch my videos, you've probably have seen this chart more than one time before. So this is stress, PSI, or PSI or, uh, which is equivalent to a torque, and this is the strain, the amount of the bolt is stretching, stress and strain. Okay? So there's a graph of any bolt that's within its elastic range, follows a straight line, so that when you to torque it, up to the yield point, then when you untorque it, it goes back to its original length, so zero stretch. If you yield it, and this would be, if you're familiar with the late, the LS, the new engines, uh, a lot of them use torque, uh, torque to yield bolts. So you actually get into this range where you permanently elongate it. When you remove the torque, it comes back down all right, but it's already stretched, in this case, two thousandths of an inch. So. The torque recommendation for most fasteners is somewhere around 75% of the yield point. Okay, and why is that? It's a safety factor. If they told you to torque it to 100% and you went over that 100%, you'd permanently elongate it and you basically destroy the bolt. So 75% is a safe uh, number and won't get you in trouble and provides enough stretch. Now, Felic wants to come over. This, I'm going to put a screenshot of this. This is the Eagle instructions for 716 ARP bolts. As you can see, the recommended torque is only 63 foot pounds, but the recommended stretch is 0 0.0059 to 0 0.063. So let's say six thousandths of an inch is what they're looking for. So okay, to make my point, I'm going to take one bolt out. I've already torqued all these bolts, so it's ready to go. But I want to make my point. So I'm going to take one out. Okay, pick this guy right here that's already been torqued. And we're going to retorque it two ways. One with the torque wrench, 63 foot pounds. And then uh, measure it, measure the stretch, and see what we get and whether it's in spec. So one of the things that ARP emphasizes, you got to use their lube in order to have the right uh, amount of uh, stretch because uh, when you torque a bolt, about 90% of the torque, the force, foot pounds that you put into it, instead of stretching the bolt, goes into overcoming friction in the threads and under the head of the bolt. So you have to use ARP lube. I'm doing that right now. Uh, under the head of the bolt and in the threads, both. Okay. Liber liberally. Liberally. So I've done that. So what I'm going to do for, make my point, I'm going to torque it to 63 foot pounds, which is the torque spec that we showed you, measure the stretch, and then I'm going to keep torquing it until uh, we get a reasonable amount of stretch. And you'll see what I'm talking about when I get in there. So, um, so this, oh, before I do that, you have to make sure you start with you got you that you have the zero length of it, so we're going to do that. Put my little gauge there now, so as you can see, we're at zero to start with. So, okay, so the ARP specs with the lubricated ARP bolt, 
what they're suggesting is uh, 63 foot pounds is the torque spec or six thousandths of an inch is the stretch. So let's see what happens when I put 63 foot pounds. We started off, we know that it's it's zeroed, so let's just snug it down. And I got my gauge, trust me, I got my torque wrench set at 63 foot pounds. <clears throat> and I've used two different torque wrenches, by the way. I'm not going to do that right now. But I've used two different torque wrenches just to verify that for myself. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to torque it to 63 foot pounds. So, when you torque a bolt, uh, moving friction is less than static friction. Once it stops, Static friction takes more force, more foot-pounds to overcome to get it moving. So, uh, to avoid that, on your torque bolt, try to make one nice smooth motion until you get there. Don't make incremental little motions like this. Like that. So, we've got moving friction instead of static friction. So, 63 foot-pounds, according to, according to Eagle, and ARP, that should give me um, six thousandths of an inch of stretch. So let's see how much it gives me. So if Alec can come in here, we'll look and see what it gives you. Little, uh, oh, hang on. Just a t tad over four thousandths of an inch of stretch. So one of the points of making this video a lot of times guys are torquing stuff and they, they go over by a pound or two or under by a pound or two. They get worried or nervous. It's just in that range that I showed you. It's not that big of a deal and you could go a lot higher. So I'm going to actually uh, do two things. I'm going to take it back out and show you that it goes back to zero. Got to borrow that. I don't have enough uh, 12 point sockets here. I'm going to take it back out and show you that it goes back to zero. So we'll put it back in the gauge again. So I'm still at, still at zero, okay? All right. So we know we have not uh, overstretch the bolt and now I'm going to put some more lube on it again and I'm going to torque it to I'm going to go right up to 80 foot pounds now sounds like a big jump but I did this on my own I tried every five pound increments and kept measuring taking the bolt out making sure it didn't it wasn't stretched or whatever each time in order to uh, make sure that I that you know that I didn't didn't go too far because if I added too much I would get up in this zone and I would basically destroy a very expensive ARP bolt so I'm putting more ARP thread lube or lube on the under the head and there and I got to make sure verify that we're zero when we start okay just off of less than half a thou there Okay, that's right on. Maybe about working with ARP thread loop, it's messy as heck, but anyway. Okay. I'm gonna to go to eighty foot pounds. From sixty three foot pounds. Pretty big jump. One motion. Measure the stretch. There, I got five and a half. A little better than five and a half. So I'm good with that actually. This spec says 0059 to 62 or whatever. The other spec I looked at from ARP says 5.5, five and a half to six thou. That's good. And I've basically followed this process and all the bolts, all the connecting rod bolts in this engine are torqued to. Uh, 80 foot pounds instead of 63 foot pounds. I've measured the stretch in each case and I've recorded it so I know what it is. And even though I didn't follow the procedures, you know, 
It's usually best to follow the instructions, but in this case, uh, because I have enough in information I can measure accurately, I can do that and feel good about it. The more stress you put in the bolt before the engine is running, the less, the more likely it's going to be able to withstand the stresses when it is running, as long as you don't, once again, overstress it, permanently elongate the bolt, and you know I can take it back out and prove to you that it didn't didn't permanently elongate it. I've done that a number of times. So for what it's worth, uh, it's just information. You do what you like with it. Uh, but one of the messages, you know, don't worry if it's 63 foot pounds and you want the 65 or something, you're safely in that 75 to 80 percent range and you're going to be fine. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And this is uh, two days before Christmas, so Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody that's watching. Thanks for watching.